Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, doing a What's New in Transformers. Yay. So excited. All right, but before that, do me a huge favor. Go hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me if you really like the channel. I really appreciate that. Hit that little bell. It notifies new content. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or on Facebook. It's all in the description. It's easy peasy. So let me squeeze it. And as always, shirts, shirts, shirts for sale. Uh-huh. They're in the description. I got three new ones. Do me a big favor. Check them out. If you like one, buy one. All right. We all need new shirts. Do me a favor, go check out Mr. Terry Wong. He's at Terry's TFF's Club. A wonderful man. Awesome guy to deal with, man. Easy sight, man. It's easy to navigate. Really nice, awesome. He's got everything for you, man. He's got legends. He's got third party. He's got Hasbro. He's got knockoffs. Man, he's got you covered. Transformers galore. Man, free shipping, fast shipping. Wonderful man to deal with, man. Tell him Deluxe sent you. He might even give you a virtual hug. All right. So yeah, what's new in Transformers? Basically, I talk about new stuff coming out. I don't have it in hand. You know what? I just like to talk about it. So I don't have a lot of stuff to talk about this time, but got some really cool stuff in there. So let's just get right to it. Yeah. All right. Fortunately, we do not have some add-on kit news, which is kind of weird. We always get add-on kits, but we got some Legends news, and Iron Factory is showing us the final picks of their Runabout and Run Amok. And man, these look good. I think they're almost ready to come out too, so I'm really excited. I love some Iron Factory. So yeah, these are kind of a recolor and re little retool of the um, Sunstreaker and Sunswipe. I'm really looking forward to these, man. They look so good. We're getting some love from them in the mainline stuff. So now we just need some uh, MP you know, scale kind of a uh, love for Runabout and Runamuck and life will be complete. So yeah, we got some new images of uh, Runabout and Runamuck, Runamuck from Iron Factory. All right, in third party news, it looks like we got some new images from Toy World. They're giving us a Knight Commander, the TW-F01. So this looks like another Optimus Prime coming from the Age of Extinction movie. You know, it's got the longer cab and it looks pretty, you know, big and everything. So yeah, it looks, you know, pretty cool. I read some comments. It looks like these uh, images are something they've been showing this for a long time, even before uh, their new uh, Prime that's coming out from the Bowley movie. So I don't know if this is ever going to see the light of day, but we got some new images and it looks pretty good. You know, it's got some nice weathering on the truck mode. It doesn't show any bot modes, but just the truck. But it looks really painted, you know, a little thick on it a little bit. You know, some areas looks like they got some nail polish or something, but the weathering looks really cool, so very nice. So yes, Toy World is giving us a TW-F01 Night Commander. And I think it's supposed to go up against the Unique Toys one or something like that. So, yep, there's some new Prime picks. All right, looks like we got some breaking news. Those like Transform Element, which have done a Prime. They've given us some Beast War Legend stuff. Now they're giving us maybe a Mirage. So that's weird, but it looks pretty good. I really like the feet and everything. It looks, you know, pretty decent. They didn't show any, you know, alt modes to it, but just the bot modes. And it looks like it's a good size, a little taller than the Sun Surge from uh, Bad Cube. So I don't know. I really like this. I'm, I'm probably going to be in on this and everything. But don't get me wrong, the MMC one is still good. Finks, I really enjoy him. I still have like three copies of that mold and everything. So it's still a great mold. I wonder who's going to be upgrading from this. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me if you're in for this guy and you're just going to forget Sphinx or you're still going to keep Sphinx. So yeah, we got some new images of uh, Transform Element Mirage. I don't know his third party name yet, but very nice. All right, in official news, it looks like we have a rumor going around. There's a possible new Neza, Nezea. X Transformers construction brick kits coming uh, to us. You know, we got some new images from the Chinese market. Um, they already reported the first look at the toys, and which it was a crossover uh, with the own TV series. And now they have seen what's going to be a new product on for this line. Uh, the, profession, the promotional images features the art and logos we have seen previously in uh, the toys uh, revealing. So we got Optimus Prime, Megatron, which he looks really goofy. That face is goofy. Uh, Bumblebee and Windblade. Each kit would be around 25 centimeters tall with a second vehicle mold built and more than 400 pieces. Uh, so take it with a grain of salt until we get official confirmation. So you got some new construction brick sets or something like that. So pretty cool if you're like uh, Legos and everything. And we got some final images of the Flames Toys IDW Optimus Prime. These are the model kits, but these are the kits that are already built and they got some battle damage and everything, you know, some nice finish it too and everything. So. Here you go. I, I mean, uh, we was talking about this on Sharecast. I don't know why they even build these because I should even be labeled uh, model kits because you're not building them at all. So I don't know. 
you know, if, if you're into this kind of thing, I like building them. They're pretty fun. They don't take that long. And But if you don't want to build them and you want some, you know, battle damage to them. So, yeah, here's your shot. You know, you have some nice uh, Optimus Prime action for you right here. Flames toy. All right. All right, and last but not least, we got some more information from Takara Tomy, uh, the Raiden Project. So about a month or two, I think, ago, uh, we got some images or an image of them. They're going to make a train bot, you know, combiner and everything. So we actually are going to get one, and it might be MP scale. So the images are from an event uh, revealed in a big poster with Raiden silhouette and a text that translates, starting with the Transformer Masterpiece Raiden Project has started. That's cool. It seems Takara has a new plan for train bot combiner Raiden, a Japanese exclusive character and a toy from 1987, now with the upcoming masterpiece mold. There is still no extra detail details about this project, but the display at the event features the original G1 toy next to the new masterpiece MP44 Optimus Prime and the MP45 Bumblebee, as well as a mantra showing clips of Raiden from the Japanese exclusive The Headmasters cartoon. So yeah, we are looks like we are getting a new combiner from Takara and that was pretty cool. It's weird they're using Raiden, but you know, they're pretty he's pretty big over there uh, overseas, so they're really cool. But we got a new picture also floating around. I don't know if this is it. It's next to their uh, Powder of the Prime or Powder Prime's Predator King. I, I, they said that I don't really think this is going to be it for it, but you know, there's a rumor that this is going to be the project. But just take that with a grain of salt. So yeah, we got some new images of uh, Takara Tomy Raiden Project. All right. All right. Hope you like that little slideshow of up and coming new stuff. And man, got some pretty cool stuff. That's Siege. Or, I'm sorry. Not Siege, man. Ugh. That Mirage from Transformers Element looks pretty good. I, I may be getting this one. I don't know. I still love Sphinx. I think it's a great figure, but this one might, you know, take the cake or something like that. But I want to hear from y'all. Are y'all excited for any of this stuff? I know it's not a lot of stuff to talk about, but... I thought it'd be pretty cool to do one real quick. So hit me up with some comments. Definitely hit me up with some likes, shares, or prayers, or Care Bears. Hit that sub button for me, please. I'm trying to get to 3,000. Share my stuff out. I really appreciate that. And I guess I'll see you on the next What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro, and good night, folks.